NoSQL is climbing up the charts as the big thing in system architecture. You may have heard of it, but what is NoSQL? What does it have to do with modern development? And is it worth implementing in your project? You are gonna get the answers now. Hello everyone, welcome to this session of Introduction to NoSQL Databases. I, Manika, am gonna take you through this session today. Before starting the video, let me just brief you with the topics that we are going to cover. So that's going to be the agenda for today's session. First of all, we will introduce you to database, especially NoSQL databases. Then we will understand what actually NoSQL is, followed by why to use NoSQL. After getting the reasons to use NoSQL, we will see the features of NoSQL databases and then we will compare SQL and NoSQL. Later on, we will understand the CAP theorem and data model. Then we will wrap up the session with understanding the types of NoSQL databases available. So before we begin, do consider to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. And also, if you are interested in online training certification in Big Data Hadoop, check out the link given in the description box. All right, now let's just start with the databases. A database is a systematic collection of data and a database management system supports storage and manipulation of data which makes data management easy. For example, an online telephone directory uses a database to store data of people like phone numbers and other contact details that can be used by service provider to manage billing, client related issues and handle fall data, etc. So, in simple words, we can say a database management system provides the mechanism to store and retrieve the data. There are different kinds of database management systems present today, which are relational database management system known as RDBMS, online analytical processing known as OLAP, and NoSQL, which is popularly known as not only SQL. NoSQL refers to all databases and data stores that are not based on the relational database management system or RDBMS principles. NoSQL is a new set of a database that has emerged in the recent past as an alternative solution to relational databases. In 1998, Carl Strauss introduced the term NoSQL to name his file-based database. So now, we'll see what NoSQL actually is. NoSQL does not represent a single product or technology, but it represents a group of products and various related data concepts for storage and management. NoSQL is an approach to database management that can accommodate a wide variety of data models, including key value, document, column, and graph formats. A NoSQL database generally means that it is non-relational, it is distributed, flexible, and scalable. So we can bind it up as an approach to database design that provides flexible schemas for the storage and retrieval of data beyond the traditional table structures found in relational databases. It relates to large data sets accessed and manipulated on a web scale. Now, when we have understood what is NoSQL, the question arises is why to use NoSQL? The concept of NoSQL databases became popular with internet giants like Google, Facebook, Amazon, etc who deal with huge volumes of data. The system response time becomes slow when you use RDBMS for massive volumes of data. So to resolve this problem, we could scale up our systems by upgrading our existing hardware, but this process is expensive. So the alternative for this issue is to distribute database load on multiple hosts whenever the load increases. This method is known as scaling out. NoSQL databases are non-relational, so they scale out better than relational databases as they are designed with the web applications in mind. Now, the NoSQL database is exactly the type of database that can handle all sorts of semi-structured data, unstructured data, rapidly changing data, or big data. So we can say to resolve the problems related to large volume and semi-structured data, NoSQL databases have emerged. Now, let's talk about the features of NoSQL databases. NoSQL databases never follow the relational model and don't provide tables with flat fixed column records, so they doesn't require 
object-oriented mapping and data normalization. Most of the NoSQL databases are open source. Multiple NoSQL databases can be executed in a distributed fashion and they offer auto-scaling and failover capabilities. They follow shared nothing architecture which enables less coordination and higher distribution. NoSQL databases are non-relational and offer heterogeneous structures of data in the same domain which supports new generation web applications. NoSQL databases are either schema-free or have relaxed schemas and do not require any sort of definition of the schema of the data. And NoSQL databases offer easy-to-use interfaces for storage and querying data provided and APIs allow low-level data manipulation and selection methods. Now we can compare SQL and NoSQL. On comparing SQL and NoSQL, we can find the differences like SQL databases have fixed or static or predefined schema, while NoSQL databases have dynamic schema. SQL databases are not suited for hierarchical data storage, while NoSQL databases are best suited for hierarchical data storage. SQL databases are vertically scalable, while NoSQL databases are horizontally scalable as they are distributed. SQL databases follow acid property that is atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability while NoSQL databases follow CAP theorem that is consistency, availability and partition tolerance. Now you must be wondering what is CAP theorem which plays an important role in NoSQL databases. CAP theorem is also called Brewer's theorem and it states that it is impossible for a distributed data store to offer more than two out of three guarantees which are consistency, availability and partition tolerance. So basically some NoSQL databases offer consistency and partition tolerance while some offer availability and partition tolerance. But partition tolerance is common as NoSQL databases are distributed in nature. So based on the requirement we can choose which NoSQL database has to be used. Different types of NoSQL databases are available based on the data models. So before talking about those, let's just understand what is data model. The data model is defined as an abstract model that organizes data description, data semantics and consistency constraints of data. The data model emphasizes on what data is needed and how it should be organized instead of what operations will be performed on data. Now we can see the types of NoSQL databases available based on their data models. So NoSQL databases come in a variety of types which are key value pair based, graph based, column based and document based. Now we will see each of these NoSQL databases one by one. So let's start with key value pair based NoSQL databases. In this data is stored in key value pairs. Each data element in the database is stored as a key value pair consisting of an attribute name or key and a value. These databases are used to handle lots of data and heavy load. Some of key value pair based NoSQL databases include Redis, React, Voldemort, etc. Now we will see a demo for key value pair based NoSQL databases. Data has to be stored as key value pairs, so here our key is name and value for this key is Richard. So it makes a pair of key and value. That is actually the data. Similarly, for DOB key, 2nd August 1988 is the value and for address key, 32WNYC is the value. Now moving on, let's understand column-oriented NoSQL databases. Column-oriented databases work on columns where each column is treated separately and the values of single column databases are stored contiguously. These databases are used to manage data warehouses, business intelligence, CRM, library card catalogs, etc. Some of column-oriented NoSQL databases include HBase, Cassandra, etc. And these databases are based on big table paper by Google. Now, let's understand this with a demo. We have row keys associated with the columns. So here we have a row key 1 associated to column 1 
which has value 1 and the column 2 which has value 2 and column 3 which has value 3. We can see k1 is associated to three columns where each column has some value. Similarly, row key 2 is associated to column 1 and column 2 which have value 1 and value 2 respectively. Here, row keys are for grouping the columns but actual data is stored in the columns. Now moving on, let's understand the graph-based databases. A graph type database stores entities as well as the relations amongst those entities. The entity is stored as a node with the relationship as edges. An edge gives a relationship between nodes and every node and edge have a unique identifier. A graph database is a schema-less yet multi-relational in nature. These databases are used to manage social networks, logistics, and spatial data. Some of graph-based NoSQL databases include Neo4j, OrientDB, etc. Now, let's understand graph-based databases with the demo. We have a person as node who has a relationship with another person as friend and he has other relationships with city that he lives in a city whose properties could be address. As a node can have multiple relationships and properties, here the person has one more relationship with the city that he likes the city and properties include the ratings and reviews. Similarly, the person likes a mall based on the properties like ratings and reviews and the node mall has a relationship with the city that it is located in a city and properties include address. So we can infer that in graph-based databases, the data is stored as nodes, relationships and properties where properties can be of nodes as well as of relationships. Now moving further, let's understand document-oriented NoSQL databases. A document database stores data in JSON, BSON, and XML documents. In a document database, documents can be nested and particular elements can be indexed for faster querying. Document databases make it easier for developers to store and query data in a database by using the same document model format they use in their application code. These databases are used for the applications having dynamic schema and characteristics. Some of document-oriented NoSQL databases include MongoDB, Couchbase, etc. And MongoDB is the most popular database in NoSQL databases. Now, let's understand this with the demo. So we have a particular database which can have multiple collections. Here, we have collection 1 and collection 2. Let's see how collection is made. Each collection can have multiple documents with different schemas as it has dynamic schema. So here we have document 1 with v1 key value pair, then document 2 with two key value pairs, document 3 again with two key value pairs, and finally document 4 with three key value pairs. These key value pairs can be of any type like string, numbers, even another document as well. Basically, document-oriented databases are hierarchical version of key-value-based databases. So with this, we have covered all the four kinds of NoSQL databases based on their data models. And now I will end this session. So hope you enjoyed the video and have understood NoSQL databases. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!